Scrolling through YouTube this morning and I come across my guy, Chef Gordon Ramsay. What? And I say my guy like I'm his friend and I'm not. I just, I just binge watch his TV shows. Donkey! Anytime I see a video of his, I'm always clicking on it. I'm always trying to watch it. But today, Gordon might have gone a little too far. This video is titled Gordon's Guide to Brisket. What? Do, do they have cows in England? Do you fancy doing something tonight? What does Gordon know about brisket? Like that is a, that is a barbecue thing. I wanted to do this reaction video to see what our friends across the pond could teach us about brisket. The recipe promises to make barbecue brisket. Now, I'm a little skeptical, but let's see, let's see what happens. It's beef brisket, a super cheap cut from the breast of the cow. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta stop already. Like, I don't know who did the intro to this video, but we were literally four seconds in and, and it's just a slab of the flat part of the brisket like plopping down on a wood block all the time. I'm all for B-roll, but like, <laughs> that's that's just a lot. It's underused in the UK, There's but loved by American slab. cousins. <laughs> and used for incredible deli cuts like pastrami. Yeah, your American cousins do love beef. it. Pastrami, great. The key to beef brisket is to cook it low and slow. He's 100% right about that. Brisket, super tough cut of meat, comes from the chest of the cow right here. That cow is walking around the field all day long, working that muscle, you know, he's like, he's like, no pain, no gain as he's, you know, getting fat in the field. That's the muscle that's bearing all that work, so those muscle fibers are super tight in there. They, they start to slowly release and break down and pull apart. So he's 100% right about that. You gotta cook brisket low and slow. We're off to a good start. I'm into the like sexy brisket shots already and to make it tender and I've got a delicious barbecue style recipe. Barbecue style recipe. Let's go. He's he's entering the arena. We're creating barbecue style beef brisket with crunchy coleslaw and sweet potato wedges which will be right up her street. Holly. Now you love barbecue. He's right? cooking with his family. Uh, you guys have seen my videos before. I cook with Charlotte all the time. Brisket. Which is nothing better. Look at it. Beautiful. It's a very tough cut of meat, so it needs to be cooked slowly so it gets really nice and tender. Are we barbecuing it outside? We're going to actually put the barbecue flavor on there, but we're going to cook it in the oven. OK. okay? <laughs> <laughs> I can just, in my head, hear all my friends in Texas, like, cry out in pain at the same time. <laughs> This is this is gonna go downhill quickly. Like it's it's the food might be good, but this is no longer barbecue. Uh, you cannot, and I repeat, cannot put the barbecue flavor on the outside. That's like when you go down to the Golden Corral and they've got all those meats lined up and they all look good, and then you you see on the menu they're like, oh, you got barbecue chicken, and then you get down there and then you get really sad because all they've done is take oven baked chicken and slather a pound and a half of barbecue sauce right on top, and it's probably that cheap Casey masterpiece crap, and and you're just you die a little on the inside. Barbecue is done outside, real wood, real fire. So mustard powder. Okay, here we have some celery seed. Next, a little bit of salt in there. Okay, what's this here? Cumin. Two again. Nice, good. And we gotta talk about the rub. Uh, this is brisket. This is not a pork shoulder. This is not ribs. This is not chicken. This is brisket. This is this is God's cut of meat. It needs salt, and it needs pepper, and it needs hickory wood. All right, post oak, pecan, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with you about that. But like, it does not need all the spices and all the all the kuchma and all the crap. Like salt, pepper, smoke. That's it. And Papa? Yeah, absolutely right. Right, two teaspoons of that in there as well. Good. Now what I want you to do? Fresh pepper on there. I'll give that a little mix. Mm -hmm. We got the pepper. Sleeves and then to rub all that spice into the brisket. Almost like you're massaging it in there. Good girl. Come on, Holes, get your hands nice and flat on there. Good girl. Yeah, now barbecue's dirty, nice. you gotta get in there. And coat it, okay? In the spice. Immerse so, yourself in the barbecue. On. Roast and tray, on. What we've got to do now, with all those spices, is sear them in. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil into the tray. 
Well done. Is that good? Let's get a nice tray out now. now. You get your brisket. And all that spice. Play that in there nicely. Okay. So he is searing his brisket. You, you, can't, you can't, you cannot just sear a brisket. Like what? If you cook brisket too fast without enough like pre-marinade or something like that that you would do with a pastrami, your fiber's gonna, like it's just gonna become a mess. See that smell just sort of travels everywhere. Oh. That's nice. Oh look, that just so looks so soft. dry. I mean, mm. I don't know if it is, but it, it looks dry. Look at that. Uh, and here's the thing about Helping yeah, talk. you see those like the here's muscle the fibers there. They've sort of like get to taste it first. it's just weird. That's a weird texture. I've never. That is so good. That. Yeah, you can just tell taste. this 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 is bringing on the characteristics Delicious. of a roast. It's so very it's very flavor. stringy yeah. when they pull it apart. It's just not. Quick and delicious sauce. And the thing about this brisket too is that it's only the flat, so he could cook it in four hours in the oven, but he's losing all that amazing fat on the back end of that brisket. So, I mean, it looks good. I would eat this, but I would, I would laugh. I would laugh at Gordon if he was like, oh, it's like a barbecue brisket. Like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> My verdict is Gordon's an amazing chef and I would love to eat at any of his restaurants someday. I'm a big Gordon Ramsay fan. He's invited to the, the cookout here in the States anytime. I think we're gonna handle cooking the barbecue. If you wanna see how I cook the barbecue, click this video right here.